Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually roll very well to this very day. That's continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Shalom to the whole elect. Let's continue plowing in this work and give it diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith, true sincerity, and also in all charity. Now, uh, topic of this video is going to be entitled, Them that devour Israel will be devoured. And, uh, you know, concerning this topic, you know, our, our people have been devoured by all these different nations especially Edom in which the nation of Edom right now is ruling over the planet earth pursuant to Job the ninth chapter and 24th verse the earth is given to the hand of the wicked and it states about the downfall of the nation of Edom in the last days which is spoken about in the bible because Edom according to the um, the bible dictionary if I'm not mistaken actually um one of the dictionaries that were published along with, with the scriptures was that Edom figures prominently with future judgment. And so with that being said, you know, all these different nations that have uh, came up against us and uh, devoured us and uh, taken advantage of us and also assisted with our downfall Guess what? Those same nations are going to be devoured, right? Because Yahweh Bashem Shai is only concerned with the sons of Israel. You know, his 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 delight is in, in the sons of Israel, and he hasn't dealt with any other nation other than the nation of Israel, pursuant to the Book of Psalms, uh, one forty-seven. All right, because. The Lord set Israel up as his, his chosen people. So, and also as well, that's the nation that the Lord chose for his son to come through. You know, he chose Israel to not only be, or should I say belong to him, but also that's going to be the nation where our Lord was going to come out of. All right. That's why we're so special. So therefore, the ones that devoured us, right, during the time of slavery, even before slavery, you had times to where these different nations came up against us and they never really faced any sort of major judgment back in the, in, um, the previous times. But now in this time, you're about to see our Lord come back with full force with his chariots. And that's going to be the time to where the prophecy of our enemies being devoured in which the other nations are deemed as, as our enemies pursuant to Deuteronomy the 20th chapter and the 16th verse which was one of the curses that we went through so our enemies are going to be devoured in this time alright they're going to be overtaken by the power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai in this time right now alright and that's something that is that is definitely that we're looking forward to Okay, because all this time we've been taken advantage of and defamed and made fun of, the, you know, made the butt of everyone's joke. But now it's going to come to the point in time to where the people that they thought was nothing was actually one of the most treasured people on the planet Earth. All right. And they're going to find that out real soon, man. But let me go ahead and jump into the precepts real quick. I don't want to make this video too long. But um, I want to go ahead and grab uh, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. And I'm going to start at the... Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get straight to the point. I'm starting at verse 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All right. So the Lord's going to turn the tables on these on these other nations. All right. 
that have came up against us and destroyed our people, especially in this time now, man. All right. And uh, I'm gonna get that in a second because uh, we, we as a nation, the nation of Israel, was a terror unto these different nations. All right. The reason why we were a terror onto these different nations is because the Lord was fighting for us, man. The Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai was was fighting for us during those times. And guess what? He's gonna do it all over again. All right, he's gonna fight for us in this time now, and his power is gonna be made known with his men that he has set up in this time that are allotted for that for that gift. All right, which that gift is uh, spiritual power. All right. So when it, once again, it says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Right? Because every nation has had us in captivity and in slavery. All right. In which the nation of Israel was set up to be the nation to over, over exceed or to, uh, overseed all these different nations that were here on the planet earth all right israel's meant to be kings and priests all right now you go to the book of uh deuteronomy right it says that um the lord or should i say slakia it, it speaks about us not only being a special people but also where it says uh any other nation or bastard shall not enter to the congregation of the Lord, even to his 10th generation. All right. So again, that just reiterates the fact that Israel and only Israel is going to be set up in the last times. All right. Actually at the, at the end of this, this age, which is the age of Edom in which after this kingdom is brought down by way of fire, then that's when you're going to see, the nation of Israel flourish okay and the kingdom is going to be given into our hands alright and Yahweh Shah is going to be the one to rule over all alright now um, I want to go from there I want to get the book of um, let's like you Lost my place, but um, actually, before I get there, I want to get the book of uh, Judith, the fifth chapter, and I'm gonna start at the 20th verse because these these other nations know about our power, man. They they know about the power that we serve and what comes out of us ser actually serving them, man. Because, like I mentioned before, we were a terror to these other nations, so therefore, since they know this. You know, they're going to keep us in this state along with Edom. Because Edom, or should I say the higher-ups of the Edomites, the uh, so-called elites, the, the banking families, they, they know about our power. They know that um, the power is only for, for Israel. Or should I say Yahweh Bashmiel Shah is only for Israel. And we're supposed to serve them right now at this point in time. I mean, because we were always, we were always going to be under his protection, all right, if we did, if we um, followed what he told us to do, in which that was a part of the first covenant that he made with us when we were coming out of the land of Egypt, all right, keep keep his uh, his, his law, statutes, and commandments, and the Lord was going to uh, keep us in prosperity, but if we were to go off and to transgress any of those laws that he put in, set in order, then he was going to destroy us before the face of our enemies. And since they know this, now they're taking advantage of our people and making sure that they continually transgress his law, statutes, and commandments to this very day. He even set up the society to the point to where you can't even keep 100% of the law. All right? So that's why the Lord has made it in this time now to where we're able to receive salvation through his grace. All right? And that grace is only given to the elect of the nation of Israel because the elect are going to be the ones to set up as the governing body and the 
rest of the nation of Israel is going to come out of the election. All right. Now, Judah, the fifth chapter and the 20th verse says, Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, I believe this is the, uh, when he was speaking to a hollow furnace, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it says, uh, If there be any error against this people, and they sin against their power, right? Which sin, the definition of sin is transgression of the law. All right, and that's all it means, okay? It says, uh, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. All right, so again, they, they notice and they still notice to this very day. So they know that if we sin against Yahweh Bashim El Shai, then the Lord's not gonna defend us. All right. Verse 21 says, But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power be for them. And we become a reproach before all the world, right? Because the Lord made an example out of the Egyptians. All right. Because the Lord was, was um, commanding through his, his servant Moses to let the sons of Israel go so that they can serve them in the land which he was going to give us but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he can make an example out of them same thing with these Edomites he's, make, he's, he's hardening the hearts of these Edomites and putting them in a proud spirit so that the Lord can show his power against these Edomites All right, and show the and, and uh, put shame to the nation of Edom and make them a reproach. Okay. So again, since they know this, this is why this this truth is being kept under wraps. All right. But now these na other nations are seeing that Edom, you know, it's the time for Edom to go down. All right. So right now, you know, these other nations are are uh, steadily letting go of Babylon and Edom. You know, they're, 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 they're cutting off ties with Esau because they understand that that this man is about to go down, you know, because it's the, the writing's on the wall right now, man. All right? So I'm going to go from there. Uh, I want to grab that precept I wanted to grab earlier in Jeremiah, the uh, 50th chapter. Here it is. So uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 50. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 6. It says, My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray, right? Because they trust in these these fake leaders that's only looking out for themselves, man. That's, that's actually set up by Esau, man. All right? I mean, look at the churches. Don't they have a 501c3 charter? That's under the government, even though they put in their law, right? It's supposed to be a separation of church and state, but yet state is all in the churches, man. All right, because they have to sign an agreement to um, basically make make their uh, their living. In other words, their 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 um, earnings, their money. Okay. And also, too, you got these other leaders that are so-called leaders that are set up. That are set up to lead our people astray just for the sake of their nationality not being revealed unto our people. All right. So it says, uh, their shepherds have caused them. It's like it. So their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place, right? And they we went from knowing who we were and actually uh doing what the Lord told us to do to us being down into a lower state now because of what we did because we've forgotten our resting place and our resting place was in Yahweh Bashim Yal Shai alright that, that was our comfort okay because see now he's once again allowing us to be comforted by his words which he is the comforter okay <clears throat> now um it says uh all that found them have devoured them and their adversaries said all right which our main adversary is Edom now 
while I'm while you're reading this, this takes you right to the time of uh, slavery, because during that time, while Esau was beating the nationality and the heritage out of us, one of the songs that they were singing back then during that time was Amazing Grace, because people think that Amazing Grace was an old Negro folk uh, folk song, but actually that was a song that was sung by the Edomites when they were. Uh, whip, whipping our backs and lynching us, man. All right. So again, I'm gonna read it with that with that in mind. I'm gonna read this again. The verse seven says, "All that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers." Right, and they they were thinking to themselves that they weren't offending. These uh, they weren't offending, or should I say, they they weren't going off. That's what they were thinking. They were thinking that what we were, were um, receiving was basically what we deserve, and it is what we we deserve, man. Okay, like the Lord said, we transgressed the law, says commandments. We we sin. This is what was going to happen, and it happened. All right. So again. With this being said, yeah, that's what they were thinking. They're saying that, look, we're not offending by taking these people in captivity and, 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 and de destroying them. But the thing is that the Lord has judgment reserved for Edom for doing that. All right. Because really it was a cutoff point to where we were supposed to be let go. But guess what? They didn't, they didn't let us go. All right. Now, um, uh, I'm going to go from there. I'm going to get the book of Revelations. Uh, it slipped my mind, but it came back to me. I'm going to get Revelations, the, uh, it's not the 13th chapter. I believe it's the 11th chapter. It's like you. Uh, Revelations, the 11th chapter. And I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. And make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And the two prophets represents Judah and Israel, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Okay. So these other nations were making merry over us and they were sending gifts one to another because we were brought down. All right. And one way of them to doing that, I was talking about these other nations about what? Setting up. Uh, these different convenience stores, you know, giving our people, you know, uh, uh, their items, you know, basically taking advantage of our people because the, the majority of the people that you see in, in those convenience stores is, is our people, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that show up in there and, and buy things from them, man. So, again, they're taking advantage of our people, these other nations, right? And then you have almost, I want to say it, almost every every major city, and actually in every city, you know, I, I go as far as say every single city that you see, you always see a Moabite uh, restaurant, you know, a Chinese restaurant. OK. Which, once again, the majority of the people that you see eating there is our people. So there it is again, man. Uh, these other nations are taking advantage of our people. So, of course, verse 10 is lining up right right along with that. All right. Because they're. They have taken advantage of our people and they've downtrodden us for so long. But now, pursuing, pursuing to what I read earlier in the book of Jeremiah, it says, all that devoured us shall be devoured. Okay. Verse 11 says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Right. Because now that spirit of life, which is coming from you, how about Shemuel Shai has entered back into us and now we're standing upon our feet out on the highways and byways, standing in great boldness before the face of such as afflict, afflicted us, pursuant to wisdom of Solomon. Right? Now we're standing in great boldness against our adversaries. And guess what? Now fear is falling upon them. So guess what? Now they got to resort to alternative motives or um, to uh, alternative tactics to come at us and to uh, demonize us and to uh, slander our names. All right. This is the, these are the, the um, 
the devices of the wicked. Okay, which once again is Edom. And Edom is here today, man. All right, he's in rulership and he's about to be knocked off his throne. Okay, so once again, uh, hopefully this was edifying to the body of Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, the members of the Hofi Lek. Once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. 